All right, I'm going to put some stickers on this now. So I'm going to come into orthographic view, make sure I'm on the tool chest main here. I've got all my materials in this folder here. I'm going to create a simple paint layer. I want to make sure that's above the body there. And I'm scroll down and on this base color, I'm going to drag a sticker. This is just a PNG. Find something on the internet that's a PNG. Drag it into the base color, go to the projection mode. And now I can move my model around and I can zoom in. And if I want to change the size of this, I press S and use the right mouse button back and forth. Let go. And I'm going to do a sticker about there. And I'm going to just paint like this. Resolution is a little bit low in both the sticker and in my texture. All right, come out of there. I can get rid of that. And I've got one of my stickers on there. I'm going to put another sticker on the other side. I can do it on the same paint layer. Let's grab this, uh, let's see, maybe this Pennzoil one. Drop it into the base color, projection mode. If that doesn't work, just drag it again into the base color. Okay, move this. And I'll zoom in a little bit and put it down here. Maybe I'll rotate this, press S and the left mouse button and just pull just a little bit and that's good there and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on hard brush and do this so I've got two stickers on there now all right let's come to the top snap it into the top view go into projection mode and take another sticker Maybe we'll do this STP sticker on here onto the base color. And I'm going to press S, left mouse button and hold shift, snap it back in, put it back here somewhere and we'll scale it down. And actually I'll zoom in and I'll scale it up a little bit. Put it around there, paint that in, and uh, let's see. Do we want another sticker? Put the Canada flag on there, maybe tilt it a little bit. Okay, so come back to projection mode, and I'll take the Canada flag and drop that in there. There's the flag, and we'll just we'll zoom in a bit and we'll rotate it a little bit, just like that. So it's just you know off and we just paint all right we are done we can clear this out so we have our stickers let's go back to perspective view and uh, hmm, they're kind of placed all pretty evenly but anyways that's the idea okay so just to make a few changes uh, to this now so let's call this stickers and I'm going to add couple of filters the first filter I'm going to use is this HSL one uh, I can change the hue saturation and lightness I want to bring the lightness down to about 0 0.38 or so just watch the stickers just so that they blend in a little bit better they're not blindingly bright so there's the first thing I want to do all right I'm going to add another filter and this one's going to be a drop shadow and I want to look pretty much straight on. And what I'll do is I'll take the opacity. I'll bring it all the way up at first. And we'll bring the size down a little bit so we see the darkness. And now I want to adjust this, this distance here. Right, right to zero. So it's right in behind. And now I can adjust the size. So we start to see it. With this spread. And I can decrease the opacity. Sharpen that up so it looks a little bit like it's sticking up on the surface. All right, so we have a drop shadow on there. Good. And then we'll do a little bit of damage. There's different ways of doing this. The way I thought I would do this is let's put a um, let's put a black mask on this, and we'll try. Let's see smart mask should we try it this way uh let's try it just try a couple of these things bring that in and then we'd have to come up here and pretty much bring the contrast all the way up and the balance all the way up 
and that'll start chipping away at it a little bit. So we could try different ones for this. Clear the mask. Just a little, but these ones, let's see how they, they're getting a little bit of damage. Okay, we, and then we can do some more. So have that in there. And then what I'll do is I'm going to add a paint layer. Okay, and I'm going to press X. And we can use this to cut away. So let's come to, say, our brushes. And choose, like, a... I don't know, try a, paint, try a paintbrush first. Try something like that, maybe the flow all the way up. And the, maybe the hardness all the way up, let's try that. Let's scale this down and just see if we cut in like that, just here and there. All right, you can switch to another one. this up and size down you can of course rotate them yeah okay something like that all right let's make sure we're in perspective we've got our stickers on there that's it good and I'll bring up the resolution in a moment I am tempted to do one last dirt layer on there just on top of everything and so we will see add a black mask and here I'm thinking of a smart mask I'm thinking of this dirt ground just for a final little bit of darkness in here. Just a little bit. That'll go in here and also into this. Let's bring up the resolution and see how we like this with or without the dirt. Because I'm thinking that this tool chest has been used underground in the sewers so it's banged up and it's got some dirt on it not really gonna see the bottom but that is what it ends up looking like so that with the wrench which I will do with very similar materials now of course I could hide the stickers right I could hide the stickers I could label this as dirt and I could save this as a smart material and just apply it and maybe I would end up doing that. Let's switch this back to 1024. And we can see what that's like on the wrench when we start doing it. So I'll call this dirt. And I'll try turning it off and seeing what it looks like. We may leave it off for the moment. All right, but what you would do is you would come down here, make sure it's in a folder and I would have to name it something better, like maybe tool chest or something. And then you right click, create smart material. And there it is, the tool chest. So if I was to take this off, I've got it on the keys, you know, and I want to create that material on here, I would just bring that in and that would go all over the thing. And of course I could then go in and tweak it if I was using a separate object. All right, so now I have a smart material and I won't lose that. All right, at any rate, there is pretty much the final and just, you know, short of bringing it up to the 2K resolution as well, uh, there it is. All right, so that's gonna end uh, this little section on the tool chest. Thank you for watching this and the next thing is going to be the wrench. See you then.